the end of the world's here. The reason why the end of the world's here is because there has been a spiritual takeover of the host body system. The host body system is nothing more than a shell. It's just a shell that is occupied by an angelic source and a demonic source. For the angelic uh, source that chose to uh, exercise their free will to come into the host body system, uh, that was the forbidden fruit, and you're in it because it will destroy you eternally. And I'm trying to help you get out of the trap. It's a snare. You got caught in a snare. A snare is a trap that inverts you. It You hit the trigger mechanism and boom, it grabs you and it inverts you and you're hanging there upside down. The Bible says, cleanse your hearts, you double-minded. The whole system is a twin system um, because you got caught in an insect race. That's the serpent race. Uh, you have two different minds. You have good and evil and you have two different consciousnesses going on and you have to be spiritually regenerated because your soul you're trapped in a host body system that's meant to destroy you and the only way out of the trap is a spiritual regeneration where you get converted and once you get converted your eyes become single your whole body's full of light and you're sealed until the day of redemption okay and i i want you not to be here for what's coming because what's coming is the greatest war the world's ever seen the bible tells us that People don't understand that in Genesis 1, Parthenogenesis created, let us create man in our image. The word image is salam, and it means a representative figure, especially an idol. See, angels aren't supposed to participate in idolatry, but the host body system and the creation of it is an idol. Let us create man in our image. So it was critical to understand that the word God right here and Elohim, it's not the Lord God, it's Elohim, said, let us make man in our image. The word right here, image, I'll click on it, 6754, 6754 image. It means to shade, which means to make darker, a phantom. That is an illusion. A resemblance, hence a representative figure, especially an idol. So the creation of the host body system right here in Genesis 1, verse 26, is the creation of an idol. It says it right here, especially an idol. And it also is an illusion. So the host body system is an illusion. It's an idol. That's why the Twin Towers were destroyed. The Twin Towers represent the Twin System, the angel that comes in and is in the trap alongside the demon that's within the host body system, two consciousnesses, cleanse your heart, you double-minded, good and evil. And that's why the crosses at Calvary where Jesus was crucified, it represents your condition. There's a good you and there's a bad you. That represents Jismus and Desmus, the two thieves that lay bound with Barabbas in insurrection. You understand? So the crosses of Calvary represent you. The three crosses represent your condition. But if you let Jesus take the cross for you in the middle, then you, that replaces him on that cross for the punishment instead of you. That's what the three crosses are all about. They don't want you to know the truth. They'll put you in religion. They'll feed you everything in the world. You, they don't care. You can want, do whatever you want as long as they don't want you to know the truth. Now, here's where the Bible comes in to make sense of all this. Let's let's. I want you to see right here on this um, clip right here. This is that guy, John, on the on the 2020 interview. Uh, and he was under hypnosis and it said, who are you? And he says, Elohim. And he said, we're the original makers. Well, uh, if you go to the Bible and you go to Genesis 1, it says in the beginning, Elohim, Elohim created the heaven and the earth. Now, Think of it as a system and, and let your mind just get outside whatever pre-indoctrination you have and just look at all the data and all the facts. And the spirit of Elohim, the spirit of Elohim, the Ruach Elohim, moved upon the face as the part that turns of the water. And again, when you go down here and you look at the reality that Elohim created man in his own image, Elohim. Now, let me ask you guys one question. What spirit was upon Jesus? Jesus said the spirit, uh, he read from the book of Isaiah, the spirit of 
the Lord God is upon me. Now, we're talking about Jesus here. So, in order for Genesis 1 to be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, it would have to be the same thing here. So, Jesus is the Spirit that can free your soul, pay for your debts. That's the only one that can do it because he's the head politically. He's the chief politically. El, the Almighty God, is the head of all things. El, the Almighty God, in the flesh is called with us is El, Emmanuel. With us is Emmanuel, El, the Almighty God. So, in order for Genesis 1 to be what all the churches have lied to everybody and told them, it would have to be, no matter what, this word right here, the Spirit, what's it say? 7307, I'll highlight it. 7307, it's Ruach. The Ruach breath, the breath of the Lord God is upon me. See the word God right here? Let's look at the word Lord first. It's Adonai, and that just means the Lord as a proper name. So the Lord God, it's Jehovah right here. See? Yehovah, which is Jehovah. They just, for syntax, the Yehovah, the self-existent or eternal Yehovah, Yehovah. The spirit of the self-existent eternal Jehovah is upon me because Yehovah has anointed me, anointed to consecrate. He has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. The word captives means to transport into captivity, to carry away, lead away, lead astray, make captive. That's what happened to all of y'all that are here. You were led away captive. He has brought me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Okay, so you're one of the captives. I'm one of the captives. So there's only one spirit that Jesus claims is in him. He is, the, in the, within the system, the self-existent eternal Yehovah. Now let's go back to Genesis 1. Ready? What does it say right here? In the beginning, Elohim. See the word right here? Elohim, right here, Elohim. That is not the self-existent eternal Jehovah. That's many in one, many of the many in one, uh, cumulative sum. Does, in the beginning, Elohim created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face, as the part that turns, of the abyss. And the spirit, okay, pay attention, the spirit. There it is, Ruach, see it? The Ruach Elohim moved upon the face of the waters, a euphemism semen. So is that, yes or no, is that the eternal spirit that can save you? The spirit of Elohim, yes or no? And the answer is absolutely not. Because in Genesis 2 is where you see the Lord God's man Christ, uh, Christ's representative in the system, it says, and the Lord God formed his man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The Lord God, self-existent, eternal Jehovah. So, see, Genesis 1 is what needs to be fixed. Because Genesis 1 was making a box, which is idolatry. And Elohim said, let us make a box man in our idolatrous image right there. There it is. 